So in this video, I want to talk about how the realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. Now, this is an anime I talked about quite a while ago, and I talked about the chances of a season two. It was quite funny because when I talked about the anime originally, it was based on just a single core season. That's what was originally fought because that's all we knew at the time. And then when uh, core one finished, then they announced that there was going to be a second core. And I was sitting there saying a week before it finished, oh, we really need another season. There's just not enough material. And, and, and that's the thing that I, I thought was quite interesting about how the realist, uh, realist hero rebuilt the kingdom is that even with the second core, I just feel like there's just, you want more. Like, the story gets more interesting as it goes along in how he is trying to, exactly as the title says, rebuild the kingdom and all the different types of systems that he's got to go through. It's like playing one of those city builders in an anime format, and I really love those kinds of games. So for me, clearly, I enjoyed the anime because of that kind of nice feel to it. Now, of course, it is a harem. It's got romance in it. But the harem aspect of it does actually make sense because he is the king he's marrying women not just f because they're hot but also for their political reasons as well so there's some political stuff behind it except maybe the warrior chick the elf maybe that isn't as strong but then he's kind of building ties with the elves as well so it all kind of makes sense for him to marry all the different girls and the romance does progress throughout the season as well even though he does kind of throw away some advancements he's not dense like the girls are saying like especially the female the main first one that he gets technically engaged to she does throw advancements at him saying yeah i want to have children i want to get it on like let's you know pop one out and he's kind of procrastinating procrastinating and you can kind of understand why a lot of responsibilities have been thrusted on him sure people say oh but hot chicks yeah man let's but you got to realize that there's a lot of things being thrown at him and he's having to make these decisions of is she really into him is she not is she the right one does he really want to stay there does he want to continue being king like there's a lot of different things that are going through his head and he does contemplate on a lot of these decisions it's only at the end of the season when the king basically says the big secret behind some of the events that played out that it, this was all kind of like a different pathway that played out and that the king ended up going back in time with the queen because the queen was the one with the power to then rectify the pathway which he then notes to the main protagonist that hey she did fall in love with you in this alternative timeline which i think solidifies his feelings in that he kept contemplating like does she really have feelings or is it just for political gain like is she just doing it because of duty and that's it because she is very much duty bound like she's trying to do right by the kingdom and so it does come down to a question of is there some doubt in his mind but as soon as that reassurance is laid there straight away he confesses his love to her it's like yep marry me and boom they kiss so for me the romance aspect of it doesn't feel artificial it doesn't feel awkward and janky like a lot of harems do where it's just like a dense protagonist constantly oblivious to girls advancements like he's aware of the advancements he's declining for his own reasons and the romance does still progress on throughout the episode so that's one thing i do like about the series along with the city building aspect of it as well and there's some interesting conflicts between different countries and clearly if there was to ever be another season because again this is a single season with two cores there would be some religious stuff that would be involved especially with other neighboring countries and dealing with the demons and all the rest now i don't ever see this getting a second season ever there is the light novels which is the main source materials and the light novel is coming to an end if it hasn't already i think it's ending at volume 21 or something and so for me i kept debating on reading the light novel sometimes i go to go into my uh, into the city for the bookstore and i see that some of the books uh been sold like they've been they're for sale and well not like a sale like as in like discount but they're just there for sale for people to purchase and i always keep debating to myself should i read the light novels should i read them but the reason why i don't is just because there's so many other light novels that i'm reading on the other channel or oh, actually other channel is this channel so i was kind of thinking it was a news video but that's the thing it's it's just one of those where i'm like eh, there's too many other light novels to read and that's one of the downsides about animes like this is that they're used as a source material seller and when you've got like a bunch of different and 
let's just say you get one good gem every season. One good gem that's a light novel isekai power fantasy series. And you're like, this is really cool. I really want to read the source material. And then you're like, oh, cool. I pick up another series and then another and then another. Like every season you pick up one. Before you know it, you within like three years, you've got like 12 different series you're trying to keep track of. And then you've also got to maintain reading mangas, watching animes, real life stuff, work, etc. And, and it becomes increasingly harder to maintain all those different light novel series. It's one of the downsides about sort of the anime industry is that a lot of stuff is just source material seller. Now, I know some people say, oh, well, I read all these different volumes. Again, I know some people have a lot more dispensable time when it comes to reading an astronomical some people are much faster at reading light novels i'm a little bit slower so it's just one of those where it's like there's only so much i can consume and like i said you've you've got other things that you want to do there's other hobbies you don't just want to only consume light novels so it's one of those where i would love to get into the series it's just also there's too many other things that i want to read as well and then the list always grows I would. I don't see this ever getting a season two as much as I would absolutely love for it to get a season two because there's so many things that I kind of wonder where the story will go as far as the religious group, the demons, more political stuff going on. Like, was the stuff that was kind of making things too easy really just the king's doing or was there some other stuff going on? Like, there's a lot of little strings that I would be very curious to see play out and what the ending would entail. Do they really just finally defeat the demons or is there some type of negotiation where maybe some demons and this was something i thought maybe could happen is that there are some demons that are not completely on board with just being part of this demon lord army kind of thing and some of them might end up fracture away and join in and then there's that whole political issue of well how do you bring in demons that want to join the fold and make them as a part of society and then integrate them and so, so there's so many other interesting aspects that you could bring up in this story that i think would and definitely would be explored in this series but i just don't see it ever being shown in an anime format because well I don't see it ever getting a season two. Absolutely love the anime, but it isn't for everyone to be very clear because, as I mentioned, it is a city builder. So some of the story can feel a little bit slow for some people in some areas. It's not just action, action, action. It's more just about the main protagonist explaining political systems, economics, diplomacy, infrastructure, logistics. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff that's in it. I mean, I would just play um, Anon, uh, a... a 1800 uh the game which is kind of like this it's like a city builder but for like a medieval kind of system and that's the thing i love city builders i love this idea of building roads building trading posts building cities up worrying about well what about education and all these kinds of different systems that you've got to build out like that to me is just something i really love and so seeing it in an anime format it's just an absolute treat so if you are into city builders definitely give it a try it's again an isekai it's a power fantasy but it's more of an aspect of an isekai world building harem romance because the romance is very much prevalent it's very much being built and it isn't just one girl it's four girls now of course that could grow the main female protagonist did indicate that he could have up to eight girls that's what she agreed to one for each day because there's eight days in a week for that world to be just to rectify that before someone says but there's only seven days yes but this is a different world so they kind of i think they made that rule just so they could add eight girls so i think the intent was to have eight different girls i would want i do wonder if they added more girls would it hurt the story just because there'd be too many but then they could have it so that maybe he marries one girl in a different country and they kind of have communications here and there but they don't do anything to like she's just kind of like there but not there kind of thing there's a lot of things that they could do with the story and i'm very curious to see what it would be if it ever got another season but again like i said i don't see that happening maybe i will read the light novels at a later point but we'll just have to see what happens again i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what did you think of this anime what do you think was done well what do you think could have been done better have you read the source material what are your thoughts about the source material do you think the story after season one holds up to or does it go downhill again not every volume is going to be top peak it's always going to be a roller coaster of some good, some bad volume. So again, love to know your thoughts. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.